Good morning. My name's Tom Sharp. I uh, invented or innovated, I, I'm embarrassed saying invented, but I guess I have, I'm patenting it. The Boxcat Rodent Barrier. It's a, um, as it sounds, a barrier that as you can see in some of these pictures that goes around your car or your RV or your equipment to keep mice out. The principle is, is that all these things I'm gonna talk about in a moment don't stop a mouse from getting to your car. This barrier that I've, been, I've come up with here that you can find more information on miceout.com uh, is the way to keep mice away from your car, especially in your garage or shop or barn. Um, it works outside very well too. You have to do some adaptions for the wind is issues that you might have outside, but um, this is the way to keep mice out. And you can try all the snap traps and glue traps you want and deal with the end results of that, which after the dead mice are disposed of, it's you can't catch all the mice that way and they learn to avoid these things. You can stuff holes with copper wool or you can put dryer sheets in your car, in your trunk. You can put iris spring under your seats. There's even a couple kinds. This is the, uh, the uh, moisture blast and the original. Neither of these work. They'll eat this material. Um, you can put peppermint or some other kind of a scented uh, uh, oils around your car. Uh, you can stuff different types of materials in holes and bolt them down with bolts and you can caulk holes. You can use electronic uh, sonic devices and lights and the problem is uh, some of them work a little bit of the time. Uh, none of them work all the time. The only thing that works all the time is a barrier. And this is the only barrier on the market that um, does what the Boxcat Rodent Barrier does. Now you can also use rat poison or other kind of poisons. Please don't do that. That's really bad for the environment. It's very cruel and inhumane. Um, I would recommend that you contact or look up humanewildlifecontrol.com uh, there uh, as it sounds they remove pests without killing them and help you really uh, set up your home or your environment in your shop or your barn so that it's less attractive to mice and other rodents that are causing the problem this poison will kill not only a bald eagle or a bunny uh, that you don't want to kill or a fox or a coyote or a mountain lion um, It'll also kill your pet dog or cat, so don't use this. Uh, the only thing that probably really works is that you have to be able to catch a coyote and get pee from him, but Grandpa's coyote pee paste might work pretty good, but only as long as it takes for the pee to evaporate out of this, and then you're back to the regular no, no control of the mice. And you got to find a Grandpa that can catch coyotes. The thing that you might do along these lines to help yourself is when you put the box cat up, before you actually set it up, get some bleach and put it in a spray with water and spray around the areas that the mice have been or might be coming from. Um, you want to test it if it's on any kind of um, paving stone or something that bleach might discolor. Um, test it in a corner like you would on a fabric if you were going to treat some fabric and make sure it's not going to hurt your paving stones. But uh, what you're looking for around your house to know what you're dealing with is the size of the droppings. If you find droppings and they're little tiny ones like small rice like these are, that's your house mouse or a mouse. If they're larger like this or even larger, that's a rat. And if they're round and piled up, uh, that's a bunny. Um, rats and mice both leave their droppings in little trails and so they're pretty evident when you see them. Um, bunnies are a problem too, like in the southwest and a lot of places where there's golf communities and people use golf carts as transportation and they sit out in the driveway. Well, bunnies will go underneath to get shade and then they'll munch on the uh, uh, organic uh, um, insulation that they've uh, put in a lot of vehicles and golf carts and they like that stuff. So um, bunnies can be a problem too. You can put a box cat around your golf cart. So that's my basic story on what not to do. You can try all these things. Uh, what I b believe you'll find eventually is a short-term uh, success and a long-term the same problem. Um, that's why you want to go to miceout.com and check out the Boxcat Rodent Barrier. We have the answer to keep your car and your RV and your other equipment out of the mouse's uh, diet.
Thank you. We'll show you some more uh, videos coming up. Take a look around, see what you want to learn a little bit more about or check out about BoxCat. I'll show you how we set them up and how we assemble them. It's uh, really all quite simple. Have a good one.